Okay, this is John Hudson. I am Christy Cook's father. And she wanted to make some cheese biscuits that I've been making. And I wanted to help her because she's down in the dumps or down in in her health a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to make them. And hopefully she can use this recording. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. What you need is half a cup of self-rising flour. You need some Kobe Jack shredded cheese. One third stick of butter melted. Melted. Need some buttermilk. Need some Baker's Joy spray and a baking pan. This process is fairly simple but it makes some wonderful cheese biscuits. First of all I put the cheese, I put the uh, flour in the, in the pan, in the bowl, and I add just a handful of the cheese if I can get it open. Here we go. There we go. I take the cheese and I put just a handful in. And then I use a tablespoon and I mix the cheese up in the flour like this. Just mix it up, get it pretty coated with the flour. This helps the cheese float in the biscuit when you get it cooked. So it's not just all on top or all on the bottom. Mix it like that. And then I take buttermilk. And I pour some buttermilk in. You don't want to get too much buttermilk. You want to get enough to make it a paste almost like a paste. I mix it up, get it mixed thoroughly, and then I, I just eyeball it like I like get it like I want it in a consistency. Mix this up like that. Get it mixed real well. And see it's, it's just a thick paste. So, if you get too much buttermilk, you can add a little bit more flour. And you can always add more buttermilk if it's not enough. But you just wanted a paste where you can dip out like this in scoops. Then, I coat the pan. I have a baking pan with a cookie sheet. I coat it with the, the cooker's joy and then I dip out the butter, I mean the uh, dough, in spoonfuls like this. I don't know if you can see it now but it will be there in a minute. And I usually get anywhere from seven to nine biscuits out of this, this recipe. I just spread them out on the pan, just like that. As you can see, I ended up with seven biscuits. And now I take my brush and I brush on some butter on each biscuit, just a little bit on each biscuit. This is one third cup of butter melted. Spread it on there. And I've got the oven set at 400 degrees on confection. So I'm going to stick them in the oven and I cook them for 20 minutes. I usually check them about 18 minutes but I set the timer for 20 minutes. Let me see. 
see here. I can do this. It's a pretty simple recipe, but it makes some wonderful biscuits. So I'm going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees. And I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. And let them cook. And then when I get done, I'll add to the video. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the biscuits are done. They, they're looking good. I got them coming out of the oven. What I do is I take them out. And I take the remainder of the butter that was melted. And I spread them on each biscuit. Spread some butter on each biscuit on top. And they look just golden brown. They look so good. They really have a good flavor and a texture to them. They're crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. And I like to take them Usually the next day I'll take one and I'll split it in half, slice it down the middle, and uh, pop it in the toaster and take it out and I'll put me some ham and, and some tomato on it and a little bit of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. I know a lot of people don't like mayonnaise, but you could put sausage on it or and some mustard. That turns out real good too. But they are wonderful for supper at night. And they turn out so well. And uh, I didn't get my little spatula out. I have a little spatula. I take them and I put them in a basket with some paper towels in them. Before I, before I put them on the table. I'm doing this with one hand because I've got the camera in one hand. So it's not turning out like I usually have it. Usually I have something to hold to hold the biscuit still. But anyway, I put them in this basket and uh, cover it up with the paper towel to keep them warm until they're served. And like I said, they turn out so well. They're a pretty biscuit and I hope you can get you some made and you enjoy them. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope that uh, my daughter is feeling better and that she appreciates this video and can use it in her blog. Thank you.